There are two common methods used for remote invigilation. Systems designed specifically for remote invigilation and systems designed for video conferencing. Dedicated systems are carefully designed to allow learners to take assessments whilst ensuring that exam conditions are maintained throughout. This video was produced by a team that has remotely invigilated more than 60,000 exams over the last two years. This team has witnessed many examples of learner-led malpractice. The malpractice was identified by the correct use of the additional features of a dedicated remote invigilation system, features which are not present in video conferencing systems. Our extensive experience leaves us in no doubt that video conferencing technology is not suitable for the invigilation of regulated assessments. In this video, we will use recreations of real incidents to show you why. Here we have an invigilator preparing to invigilate a learner through a single camera feed with the use of video conferencing software. To confirm the learner's exam environment, the invigilator instructs the learner to pan around the room with the built-in camera on their device. Nothing untoward can be seen as the learner pans around the room. The invigilator has assurances that the environment does not breach any exam conditions and instructs the learner to enter their exam. In comparison, here we have an invigilator using a multiple camera proctoring system. As you can see, the proctoring software provides the invigilator with a webcam view, a screen share view, and lastly, an environmental camera view with the use of a mobile phone. By following the on-screen instructions, learners are asked to show multiple areas of their exam environment. Here you can see the learner using the mobile phone camera to show their desk and around the device they will be using to sit the exam. What the invigilator using a single feed had considered to be a suitable environment, we can now clearly see through the mobile phone camera was certainly not. Now let's take another look at the tutor using video conferencing software. With the environment requirements now confirmed, the learner is instructed to enter the exam. For the duration of the exam, the invigilator does not witness anything that would raise concerns for the integrity of the exam. Now, revisiting the invigilator using a multiple camera proctoring system, the learner is instructed to position their mobile phone at a distance of 3 metres, providing the invigilator with a view of the learner sat at their device for the duration of the exam. With the mobile phone camera in place, there is very little room remaining for a second person to enter or move around the room. Had this exam been invigilated using a single camera video conferencing system, people entering the room would not have been seen. Tutors have been known to invigilate multiple learners at the same time. Let's take a look at how multiple learners appear to the invigilator on video conferencing software. All learners are instructed to show their environments to the invigilator. Let's now imagine that you are the invigilator. Can you spot any concerns with their exam environment? Could you assure the integrity of these exams? All learners are instructed to enter their exam. As the invigilator, have you noticed someone enter the room of a learner? What actions did you take? Do you pause the exams of all learners? Do you message the one learner and disturb all other learners, resulting in these learners being disadvantaged by lost exam time? How do you prevent the results from being released for the learner who you suspect is cheating? Maybe you didn't see a person in the room, perhaps it was just the lighting in the room. How would you confirm what you thought you saw was indeed another person in the room? Let's now see how an invigilator using a multiple camera proctoring system could monitor multiple learners. Using the proctoring software, invigilators can regularly rotate the camera views of multiple learners. Single camera feeds can be enlarged for closer inspection and each learner has an individual chat for private communication between invigilator and learner. A person can be seen in the view of the mobile phone feed. As you can see, the invigilator has now been able to pause the exam of a single learner 
and if necessary, the invigilator can even ask to see the environment again. Relevant information can be detailed against this exam session and because all sessions are recorded, a secondary review can be requested. All of these steps automatically prevent the automatic release of a result until the integrity of the assessment has been confirmed. Tutors have been known to invigilate up to eight learners using video conferencing software. Please put yourself back in the shoes of the invigilator and tell us, are you confident with the integrity of these exams? It should be noted that bespoke proctoring systems offer so much more than an extra camera. Proctoring systems can adopt up to five streams of information. The webcam. This allows real-time monitoring of the learner through the forward-facing webcam. Environment cam. A tethered secondary camera, usually a smartphone or tablet, which is set up in a position that can monitor the learner, the workstation, and surrounding environment. Screen share. The learner's screen activity is recorded and therefore our invigilators are able to see in real time exactly what the learner is doing on the screen. Digital audio. The entire session records the sound from within the environment digitally. Browser audit trail and performance. Full audit logs of system performance including internet speed, stability and websites reached. All of these streams are recorded in HD and stitched together into a single, navigable, interactive video. This allows us to carefully review and focus in on individual streams. This cannot be achieved with standard video tech. The full and constant view of the entire exam environment, there is no means by which an invigilator can satisfy themselves that the environment is suitable. Additionally, opportunities for cheating and learner-led malpractice are vastly increased using single camera systems. And if you're not sure how to cheat, just get online and search for it. Here are some results from a quick web search. Two of these offer tips on how to cheat in simple single camera remote invigilation systems. And between them, they've already received over a million views.